welcome back to Pass Move. And for today's episode, in our brilliant Bayer Leverkusen series, uh, we do have the game as promised against Bayern Munich. It's a huge game, of course. Uh, kind of explains itself, but yeah, there is a bit of a rivalry between the two clubs, and hopefully we can uh, overcome that rivalry. And uh, in terms of what happened since the last episode, it's not going well at all. In case you haven't realised already, we're not even in the top 14. And in fact, we are bottom of the table. Hugely underperforming, winless in the league. Uh, but of course, it's still early days, so we've got plenty of time to turn it around. And uh, of course, um, you know, what better way to start winning than against Bayern? Uh, so we do have just two points with two joys uh, against BMG in Hamburg and uh, three losses against Ingolstadt, Hertha and Gelsenkirchen. So some tough teams, but um, obviously we were expected to beat them and uh, considering we were supposed to get Champions League football, or actually the board expects me to get Europa League football, but even then um, we're some way off, uh, but we can still catch up. So hopefully that can happen today. Three points against Bayern Munich would be incredible. In terms of the results themselves, these are the, this is how it looks. So we also played against Juventus. That was a huge loss. Uh, momentarily in there after Mario Mandzukic's uh, 75th minute goal, Hakan gave us a bit of um, a bit of hope at 3-1, and uh, possibly we could have gone and scored two more. But our attacking um, risk taking, I suppose. Uh, Pjanic punished us for that one, so 89th minute goal for himself, and that kind of wrapped it up easily for Juventus. But we're away from home, so you know not too tough, and you kind of can expect to be uh, to lose against Juventus. The good thing is that we did beat Club Bruges, 85, 85th minute winner from Julian, so it gives us a nice little um, a good game to win just before Bayern, basically, so that we go into the Bayern game on 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 the back of a of a win, and. Um, and yeah, that kind of leaves the Champions League group looking like this. So it doesn't really matter everyone else. But Shakhtar are leading. Uh, apparently they beat Juventus 3-0. So that's a huge result for them as well. We're going to have to do well to play against them apparently. Hopefully we get another three points on Club Bridge. If we get a draw in our next game and possibly draw one and beat one uh, in terms of the games against Shakhtar, then we should kind of get through on the second qualification spot uh, and hopefully into the knockout stages. The board themselves, though, they don't really care too much about the... Well, I mean, obviously they care about Champions League, but the expectations are already met by getting to the group stage. So even if we get knocked out and go to the Europa League uh, competition instead, for example, or even get knocked out entirely, they should still be okay. But in terms of finances, we, would, we do want um, those opportunities, of course. So that's kind of uh, it. We drew Augsburg for the German second cup, uh, second round cup, for the German cup. <laughs> we drew Augsburg for the German cup second round, and uh, I think there's a third round and then into the quarterfinals. And that's kind of how it goes. And of course, the winners of this cup competition uh, get Europa League football as well. Um, so yeah, I think we can finally kick off today. And uh, still the same tactics, same instructions. Familiarity has gone up a little bit, but we still do need to adjust to the mentality mainly. Um, and things like tempo width could do a bit more improvement and hopefully uh, soon enough uh, will be adjusted to it all. Talk more about who's starting today and the reasons why. Well, obviously, main reasons are uh, players being out of form or in form really is why they're being selected or being left out. Players warming up though first and then we'll get to see the match odds. But you definitely expect Bayern Munich to be favourites for today's game despite... Uh, ourselves being at home they're doing not too poorly in the league themselves fourth Europe uh, uh, Champions League position they've only lost one uh, if they do win today's game they can go up to second and that wouldn't leave them too far behind Hoffenheim are doing incredibly well an unbeaten season same goes for Ingolstadt uh, so that kind of makes up for our loss against them uh, Ingolstadt at least uh, Hertha and Gelsenkirchen aren't doing too well themselves so it's kind of disappointing uh, to lose to them Anyways, uh, the players themselves, uh, we got Stefan starting today's game, leading the front. Mehmedi has been in poor form and unfortunately for us in terms of the transfer window, I think I mentioned before last episode, we we're going to try and bring in a star striker, but we didn't have the finances to bring in the leading player. And instead, we'll be hoping that the board invests a little bit and that we that way we can uh, buy someone in January and uh, make up for the second half of the season uh, and see if that works out. But so far, we've got only a decent player in terms of the league for Stefan and uh, a good player for most uh, 
first division sides in Mehmedi, so we do need some improvement in the striker position in particular. Bellarabi though uh, will be playing in the left wing and that's kind of straightforward. Julian Brandt, is, um, his backup is injured so he's not even on the bench. Hakan's our first choice uh, attacking midfielder, he's in good form recently. Bailey isn't our first time, uh, choice right wing, it's actually Voland, but ba Bailey's been in good form. Voland's been in poor form since uh, Bailey's uh, overtaken him. Managed to get his international caps for uh, Jamaica and he's also gotten himself a goal as well. As you can see here, a goal for our team too, so it's good to see. Uh, uh, you know, a youngster in good form. Bender and Campbell are our defensive midfielders. Bender's a first choice player and he's been playing well so far this season. Campbell comes on for his uh, his competitor, Charles, uh, who's not been in good form at all. Actually misses out on the bench entirely as well. Uh, Dummett is coming in for uh, Wendell. Wendell's been in poor form himself. Sigurin as well. So fullback positions have kind of struggled. Uh, Tar and Toprak are the ones who are um, partnered in the central defence and Taz uh, come in for Drogovic and he's done well. Drogovic is running out of form there I suppose and uh, Taz has taken his opportunity and that's why he gets to start today against Bayern Munich. We're playing 4-3-3 themselves, strong team, Lewandowski, Ribéry, Müller, uh, full strength side really um, but they do have some star players off the bench like Xabi Alonso, Robin, uh, Sanchez of course is a good player himself. Um, and you can even keep an eye out on Komen or Rafina. But anyways, we'll do well if we get any type of result here uh, against Bayern Munich. Huge underdogs is definitely the team talk to go for. No pressure. We're not necessarily in the best of form or best of morale. And uh, if we could even get away with a draw here, considering the circumstances, that'd be good. But of course, three points is what we need to really kickstart our season. And what, what better way to do that than to beat Bayern Munich? Um, Quickly just switch our highlights to extended. We still have goals on. I think we're good to go. So Bayern Munich get us going. And uh, the boys will have to put in a top performance. We're playing on structured with two defensive midfielders. Yet we've conceded a ridiculous amount of goals already this season. And uh, it seems like we have some serious improvements investments needed to be done in the transfer window. It's a bit unusual the players themselves expect them to finish in Champions League spots. I feel like in the beginning my staff were judging the players a bit better than they were. For that reason I didn't really invest in it. I was surprised that we had so many leading players of the division. Um, but some players have gone down a little bit. I think Stefan by some of my staff is still judged as a leading player which is hugely ridiculous. Um, having said that though, <laughs> Dortmund were actually interested in buying him and uh, maybe they were looking at experience, maybe they're looking just for numbers. Um, but yeah, I had to reject any bid and actually no bid really came in but I did have to take him off the transfer list because that's it, the season began, we didn't get to get rid of him, no point to keep him on the transfer list during um, you know, transfer window when it's not really going on. So took him off, gave him a decent squad status, rotational player, Lewandowski. Oh, that's a good save from Leno but it's a bit too easy for Lewandowski there. Uh, but yeah, we gave Stefan a rotational uh, squad status, and uh, we kind of we left his asking price as this, so player you know teams know that they could still come in from if they want, and he is wanted apparently. So um, you know, January transfer window, we'll be looking to move him on and bring in the star striker instead, get his wages off as well. He's on like 66k, and that's a huge amount of money considering the amount we make for the club, and of course uh, there are some decent players in our team. Who aren't making anywhere near that money. Early stages though going to Bayern. Two shots, one on target, clear cut chance as well already. But we seem to be dominating possession a little bit. And Hakan has a chance to score from this free kick. And it's just over. He kind of uh, worries the goalkeeper there. But at least we're threatening a little bit in some form. And uh, possession stat has dwindled. And Bayern Munich have caught up. Leno makes the easy pass to Bender. I've finally set my goalkeeper on um, short passing and uh, fewer risky passes so he doesn't just boot the ball forward for no reason. Bellarabi though, attacking for the team, is he going to find Stefan, loses out instead to Lam, does well to win it. And Müller tries to find a teammate but it goes to no one, the same can be said for Campbell. Instead Vidal sends Lewandowski through and that's quite poor defending but everyone's managed to come back quickly. Toprak almost wins it but Müller's got it back at the end and Dummett is the one who wins well and Bellarabi can lead the counter. Asking a bit too much from Stefan there, but that's the end of that highlight, and you can expect that Stefan didn't get to that one. Ribery though, can he score from this free kick? Uh, straight the goalkeeper, thankfully. And uh, Bayern are quickly running away in terms of the statistics, but so far, nil-nil. We'll go. We'll do well to go into half-time with a nil-nil result. 
Bender getting booked is never a good sign. But he is, uh, he does have the instruction as a defensive midfielder on support duty to tackle harder. So it's no surprise that he's actually gotten himself on a yellow. Muller though, Thiago, and thankfully no heavy deflection there. And Leno can make a relatively easy save. But yeah, um, it looks like Leno's having the best game for us in terms of our players. Hakan though can change that. Instead he puts a ball bo poor ball into the box, but he has another chance to do something. Campbell, Registar, Tar, ball playing defender. Waits a bit too much on the ball for my liking, but he finds Hakan nonetheless and Campbell can do something here. Finds Seguin. Is he going to put a good ball into the box? Yes he does. Bailey oh, heads it just wide, but that's probably the best chance of the game and it's not even considered a clear-cut chance or even a half chance. I think that's a half chance at least, if not a clear-cut. Stefan though not having a good game at all for us. That doesn't look good as a striker not being able to lead the line. I think that's pretty much where all our attacks fall apart. Um, I know pre-seasons don't mean too much, but pre-season friendlies we performed really well. And um, I think I'm going to say I'm pleased with how things are going because we are drawing in a game where we're not the huge underdogs for us. So that's kind of... It'd be a bit harsh to tell my players off. They're also obviously in poor morale. Um, I think we can be a bit more expansive though. I'm going to look to keep us a little bit more conservative. Look for the overlap, work the ball into the box, dribble less. I feel like we need that more because we haven't had any single shot on target. Um, but normally I would go for a bit more of an attacking threat, like um, exploiting the flanks or even the middle for that matter. Um, running at the defence, not, not trying to make my players dribble less, that sort of business. Um, but without a single shot on target to our name in the first half, it kind of makes sense to play the work ball into the box instruction. Having said that, Bender does really well to find Seguin and he almost finds Hakan, but Bele Rabi can make amends here. He takes his man on and shoots and that's straight at Neuer. But that's our first shot on target then. That's a really good chance from Bella Rabi. Could have tucked it away, but hey, angle was a bit tight, so you can excuse that. Hakan though. Dumb it, almost winning it there. And Bella Rabi <laughs> hits the back of his head. Uh, and Hummels tries to get his team away, but we, we're in good shape. I think we get back fairly well and a bit tough for teams to uh, counter us. Having said that, Alaba has a chance. Does nothing of it, and that's good for us, but... Growing into the game, the more the game goes on, considering we haven't uh, conceded three goals already, I'd say this game's gone fairly well so far, but we still do need our first win of the season. And Bayern Munich are planning on ruining that for us. Alaba, clear-cut chance without a doubt, and thankfully his heading's not as good as what was required to score there. 60 minutes here, so we can look to start to make some substitutions. Stefan hasn't improved at all after the break, so we'll take him off. It's a bit of a ruining our attacking, I suppose. Um, Hakan's the first teamer. is a bit tired, but I think it's a bit too early to take off Kai. Maybe we can take off Liam Bailey, who's not a first teamer and he ha hasn't had the best of games. I'd love to take off Bender at one point as well. He's on a yellow and against Bayern Munich, you can expect him to make another horrible yellow card tackle. Uh, Kevin Campbell though, it's good to see him having a good game, considering he's still adjusting to the defensive midfielder position. Uh, but his, uh, even though his attributes are dropping now, <laughs> all his attributes do um, suit the registrar position. Or role, really. Um, and that's it. I think we can look to either take off Bender later on, uh, or we can bring on Kai for Hakan. And uh, hopefully either one of them, depending on the circumstances, can... Um, inspire us to win. Hopefully one of these players can do that beforehand and that way we can really consider taking off Bender. But yeah, I think the work born to the box and uh, playing a little bit of a less risky game has helped us a bit but having said that, Byron have gone into a more attacking uh, formation, well not formation but you know, instructions I suppose, duties and whatnot and uh, there's an immediate highlight in response to that change. So whether it's in our favour or Byron's, we'll yet to see. But Bender has the ball. Safely back to Omar top rack and he finds our registrar Campbell who lo almost loses out um, thankfully he wasn't being too stupid on the ball there Bayern Munich keeping their shape well and not necessarily being too adventurous but having said that Volans kind of free here and he actually finds an even more free play in Seguin 
good ball into Mehmedi and he hits the crossbar Bellarabi and there you go that's 1-0 in our favour and it wasn't any of the substitutes who necessarily did it. I mean actually Mehmedi, that's be a bit unfair for me to say that Mehmedi actually did something significant and got himself an assist coming off the bench and Seguin does really well here he's not even ready for the first division and yet he put in a cross like that Mehmedi very unlucky to not score but Bellarabi is the first man on the spot and that's why you need inside forwards. I'm tempted to go into contain, but we seem to be doing okay uh, the way we're playing. And I feel like what's needed more now is actually a defensive midfielder. So we'll take off Lars Bender. Not necessarily the best of games, and his um, conditioning is going down a bit fitness wise. Even though you'd argue that Kevin Campbell and Hakan are struggling more. Having said that, though, immediate highlight and Campbell's on the ball. On for the substitute. Voland, can you find Seguin free again? Instead he goes to Hakan. Ah, Hakan just loses out and the clearance doesn't go to anyone, but Tar has to be careful here to not lose it. Finds our right back and Campbell's on the ball once more. Once more to Seguin again. Loose header, but he picks up the pieces. And Hakan is on the ball here. And Bayern Munich are trying everything to win the ball off us and we're doing well to keep it. Seguin, really good ball into the box, Mehmedi. Ah. Yeah, I would consider that a half chance as well, but he, you know, he would have done good to have just left that ball for his teammate and got into the box to get on the rebound, but instead he tried to go by himself, and uh, fair enough, always back yourself. Oh, he's on the ball now, can he score? Uh, safely back to Tar instead, across the box, Campbell, oh, Hakan, is he offside? Kind of leaves it and Sanchez gets it clear, but we're putting some serious pressure on Bayern Munich now, and we are so close to getting our first win of the season. Having said that, 75 minutes and Bayern Munich look to attack. Robin on the ball for his team. Vidal, quite free midfield, which isn't too good to see, but can we win it off him? Yes, we can. Bellarabi, asking a bit much of Mehmedi, but Mehmedi responds and he can take a shot here. And that's the worst shot we've seen so far this game. If he, hasn't, if he didn't assist earlier, we'd be pissed, but I mean, fairly pissed because we could have gotten a second there. Highlight just before I wanted to switch into contain, so hopefully this can still keep me <laughs> in terms of trying to keep the same plans. Ta plays a good ball into Campbell. Campbell plays a horrible pass, and instead it's going to be Bernat who leads the counter for his team. Can we win the ball back before any real threat? Nope. Apparently not. Sanchez to Lam. Lam's going to take a long range shot, and that's a good um, block there. But they do still have a corner which they can threaten us from. So I've quickly gone into contain, which I find a bit unusual. Actually, is considered an attacking contain, so it's weird. Um, but just to give you an idea, we're playing on contain. Take a breather, play even safer. Uh, use offside trap, use tighter marking, shorter passing has always been our instructions, our general way of playing. But we also added the clear ball to flanks, hit early crosses, dribble less, and retain possession. So we're not losing the ball stupidly and uh, we're not taking any risks at all anymore. 10 more minutes, we just need to hold them off. Having said that, Mehmedi leads the counter and we are a bit too attacking for my liking. Having said that, Voland's kind of, you know, doing well here. He just has to put a good ball into the box. Her early instructions were there, but he didn't want to do it. Instead, Seguin to Voland again and he finds Seguin. Can he put a good ball into the box? He did early and he did it once more with Bellarabi. Campbell, Bellarabi. Almost 2-0, and if it wasn't for an incredible save from Noya, we would have had this game wrapped up with 10 minutes to go. Can we do it through this corner? Hakan. Ta. Ah, does well enough to win it against three players, but he just steers it wide, and Bayern Munich come away safely from that corner. Can we hold off for the remaining minutes? Two minutes left from Robbins free down the right flank. Tries to put a good ball into the box, but instead we get away with it. Ah, oh, just bouncing around. Robin still. Damn it. Ah, oh, good save from Leno. Leno. And Robin had the second clear-cut chance of the game for his team. But thankfully, to our goalkeeper, Leno, who's had one of his best games for us. Probably, I think it's his best game of the season, really. But having said that, Tar's leading a counter-attack for some reason. He tries to find... Mehmedi and that's definitely asking too much from him. Noya just clears it forward and this highlight's going on for too much for my liking. Thankfully it's ended though, but there's a minute and a half. Hakan. Nope. 
Counter on the way for Bayern Munich. Are they going to score in the dying embers of the game? Bernat leading the counter. Is he really playing as a winger? I thought that was just an accident. Though he's doing really well. Beats his man. Puts a ball into the box. Leno collects easily. And we might survive the remaining minute of this game. Come on, Leno. Doesn't do anything stupid. Instead, he does the stupid thing and clears it. Mehmedi, can you win it? Nope. Martinez does well. And Robin's going to lead the attack for his team. Incredible tackle from Dummett there, and considering he's a decent player facing off against a probably a leading player for the division. He puts in one hell of a tackle to get some pressure off our players. Volland plays this good, safe option back to his defensive midfield partner, Hakan. Dummett, a bit too much attacking for my liking, but it's okay. Campbell, just keep the ball, and there you go, Hakan's on it. Volland, find your partner, your flank partner, there you go, Seguin. Take him on. Nope. Yep, he does a smart thing and finds Campbell instead. Go through the register, that's what we need. Hakan through to Bellarabi. Are we going to make it 2-0 before? Nope. A really good tackle from Hummels. Bellarabi hesitated to release his shot. Oh, fire his shot in, really. Um, and that kind of costed us, but it won't cost us the game by the look of it. Hakan, sh surely the last kick of the game. Sanchez clears. And there you go, we come away with our first win. And what a time to get it against Bayern Munich. And there you go. Well-deserved result. We climb out of the relegation zone. We won't be relegated, thankfully. Obviously, a long way go to go for the season. But that's a huge, uh, hugely important three points. Keeps us out of the relegation zone. And um, I think if we get another three points next game, we can climb up to 11th. If we do it again, we can climb up to... You know, we can just keep going if we just keep winning. And hoping everyone else keeps losing. Six games played though, 14th is not good to see. Six games, five points, but plenty of time to turn it around. And we'll need to continue. We'll have to go on a winning run to seriously turn this uh, season around. But having said that, a 1 0 result against Bayern Munich is exactly what was needed. We keep them in the Champions League spots, keep them in the fourth position, and they are not going to be happy with how they perform themselves. Dortmund themselves also losing and it looks like the German division is more unpredictable than I thought. Season preview, Purse at Bayern, Dortmund, Leverkusen and Gelsenkirchen, Wolfsburg as well and BMG and you can see some random teams being up front leading the way who you would not expect to. But still, uh, like we said, a lot of time to go and uh, why are we lowest net transfer spender? Three players in, seven players out, 16.2 in the blank. That doesn't make sense. We didn't even buy anyone. I mean, we spent money on the... Oh, they mean we made 16.2 million. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we sold Hernandez, which is kind of proving to be a stupid decision. And he, I knew he was very risky, but he just didn't suit our tactical style at all. He's an advanced forward or a poacher at best. And he doesn't do any supporting role well enough. I would have loved to have played him as anything. A deep line forward, a complete forward even... Uh, defensive forward anything but just didn't work for him and uh, I've had to settle for some below par strikers but if we can just get to through another two months and then buy someone in the January transfer window would be amazing I'm looking at um, particular players like uh, Lucas Prato I think he's the best option for us um, I feel like he'd be an incredible striker for us and the best thing about it not only is he very comfortable playing as a deep line forward, all his stats suit us, 12 and above attributes, he's perfect for a deep line forward the role, comes deep to get the ball as well, knocks the ball past the opponent, all that sort of business. Um, the only, and, and yeah, another good thing is actually the shadow striker role, he can do it quite well as well if we needed him to ever fill in that role as well. So he'd be really great, 28.5k right now is his wages, so it's unlikely he'd ask for too much more. And, um, you know, he'd definitely be an upgrade for us in the striker department, as you can see here. And, uh, yeah, the only issue was that he's estimated cost is 14 million. I know without a doubt if I put an offer for him, we can't even afford 8 million, first of all. Probably could push it, but I like to try and keep this in the middle. So we only got about 7 million. If we push it to about 8 million, we're going to have to offer him some poor wages. If I go all the way as well, I don't even meet the minimum estimate amount of how much we're going to have to put in. Uh, to steal him away from his team. Um, but yeah, overdue win without a doubt. And in terms of when we'll be back, I think 
he should be back for the Dortmund game. There you go. Suits us well. Good schedule. Uh, by then, we should have played another two Champions League games, and both are against Shakhtar back to back. So, hopefully, these two games are going to be the crucial ones of our game of our uh, group, and we'll do well to actually come away here. We play Augsburg back to back games in the first division and the German Cup second round. Again, hopefully, two wins. Really, hopefully, win every game here. But um, we, if we get three wins in these three games here, Darmst, Augsburg. And Colm, all the teams who are above us, so if we beat them, not only are we getting three points, but we're keeping them, you know, we're dr dragging them back down as well, and hopefully climbing above them. Uh, but yeah, I think Dortmund is when we will be back, so, uh, you know, if you did enjoy today's episode, then please do hit the like button and subscribe for more Daily Football Manager 2017 content. And as always, guys, thank you all very much for watching.